Okay, so hi guys, this is Osha again, and we're gonna take a look at the trial again. I'm gonna talk about the trial itself a little, but I'm gonna timestamp where the reading starts. So if you want to, you know, just skip ahead and check that one, you can do so. So <laughs> last week was interesting. We got, I mean, thinking back to the reading, you know, there was that um, the justice and the sun can't remember what which was the third card for Ember side, but you know there was that happiness and 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 clarity and being sure that you're on the wrong uh, on the right side of <laughs> that was a Freudian slip on my part, the right side of uh, the the whatever is happening uh, with their team, which I forgot to say, you know that how I read uh, that's how I read the justice cards as well. And I was like, what the freaking, fr you know, what? why are they so sure that, um, you know, things are going their way? And it was quite interesting because what it could be, and obviously, you know, we are just doing this for fun and uh, it's, it's, we're reading for multiple peoples and things that are happening in a courtroom. Uh, so, you know, a lot of things can change in the moment. Uh but I think what it meant was the their uh, psych expert, expert, which was a hard thing to watch. To be honest, I was very very annoyed with her, and because of how gendered her testimony was. Even though next, you know, when she was crossed, she was like, "Oh, I always said that because in this case, this I just wanted to highlight the fact that this is how I see things." But also there were things like she was testifying for Ember, which I think it's not what was supposed to happen. So that was a shit show on the direct, <laughs> you know, reading papers and everything. That was very interesting to watch, you know, knowing. Uh, because, you know, I, I maybe you don't know, but uh, if you don't didn't watch the first one or didn't explain myself well, and I don't know why I'm, you know, building things from cards. Uh, but... I went into this watching that, you know, if I see something that shows that Jolene Depp was actually really physically horrible with her, you know, I want to know because I don't want to sit here and believe that he's the victim if he wasn't. He, you know, if it was mutual and he really did horrible things as well. And there are really terrible uh, accusations, but I'm sorry, but if you can't, you know, if you take pictures of everything, but you don't take pictures of your horrible injuries. You take pictures of blood stains on the on the carpet, which could come from you know anything else. You, you know, and it like no one proved that that was blood. If, if I really want to be you know uh, uh, doubtful or whatever, but she described horrible things uh, happening to her. But there were no the doctors, you know, there was no paper about that. Anything that, you know, you get into a hospital, there would be some paperwork that you could show that you were assaulted with things that she described. Also, you know, she took the time to take the picture of uh, the sofa, but not for injuries. I don't know. You know, there's just a lot of things that she claims things that then she cannot uh, just prove them. And not because, you know, she didn't take any pictures because that would make sense if you're, you know, in a horrible situation like that. But no, you go around and take pictures of the destroyed furniture. And all I can think about is that she really indeed was collecting these things to be used later. So yeah, that's, I think it's horrible. I do think uh, that, you know, she needs help. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm not diagnosing her because I'm not a psychiatrist. I haven't worked with her and everything, but I can't imagine her life being easy uh, or, you know, and what those diagnoses that um, Dr. Kirk assigned to her, uh, no, Dr. Curry, Dr. Kirk is the one that I'm watching, usually, you know, Dr. Kirk Honda, who explains these things in a, you know, in a way that a layman can understand. Those are horrible things to, you know, live your life with. I'm not saying it not, but, and, you know, I do have sympathy for her in that uh, aspect, 
that I do think that she's suffering. Uh, just the, the huge difference and what's important right now is that she's not suffering from those things that she alleges. And those are horrible things to allege about someone. So yeah, that's just my opinion. And it didn't change with her testimony. I was not connecting to her. I know she was upset on the stand, but I felt nothing. And I remember watching a Chris Watts analysis and where some someone i think it was a psychiatric uh, or physician someone you know like a doctor uh telling that if you watch a really you know like gut-wrenching story that someone is telling the story and you know someone is looking really like looking really sad but you don't feel anything it's usually because there are no real emotions behind those things and I felt that with most of her testimony. I do agree that at the beginning when she was describing how they met and how she just fell in love with the whole idea of this, wow, big movie star is interested in me and, and you know, we connect on a huge, on a human level. That's, that's, the, that's the basis of every fan fiction. So don't tell me that you couldn't connect with that because... We all did that, you know, at least at our some point in our lives. Most of us dreamed about running into a huge movie star and, you know, connecting about the love of, uh, I don't know, um, Gherkins or something like that. You know, that's, like I said, that's the base of 99% of, you know, fan fiction. So that that, that worked for me. I, I totally believe that how she felt at the beginning. Um but that was also interesting that a lot of people who went through horrible things like that, uh, what she described later, said that they would never t talk that fondly about their abuser because why would you? Uh, so yeah, that was interesting. I'm sure you can explain it away, but that's a bit weird. And there was just some moments when she said something that I, I kind of do feel like she was talking about her father. They didn't address anything about her childhood uh, yet, which is weird for me because they said they would and uh, their psych expert was highlighting the fact that, that if you went to, through abuse in childhood, then you're going to be a victim of it later, which, yeah, obviously there's a high chance for that, but, you know, you can just turn around and be the abuser. So that was a weird thing to say, but they didn't talk about it. And I'm not sure if they will, but, you know, we will see because she's going to come back. Uh, and the lawyers that I watch speculated that the direct won't end, uh, you know, mm, probably at least half a day is going to be with that on the 16th because there's a week uh break in the case but you know we'll see i'm i'm quite curious about the cross i'm quite curious about the cross for sure because there are so many inconsistencies that can be brought up but the psych experts cross wasn't the best one so you know we'll see but yeah that's the update and my thoughts on the trial so let's see the i think i'm i'm gonna you know pull more cards and see more because uh, I just, uh, you know, I only checked what they are feeling uh, as of right now in the last one and what the possible outcome, which was the lovers, which I still find it very interesting. Uh, also, I was thinking about pulling some cards to see what their expectation of the trial is. So let's see how Johnny Steep is. Johnny Steep. <laughs> Johnny Steep is currently oh feeling interesting we have the set squirrel i'm gonna do it this way so we have the set squirrel that's an extra card and everything is you know just but we also have the star so for something makes them uh it could be the expert witness to be honest that they couldn't get in the previous tv conviction And I'm not really paying attention to what the media is saying, but I know that there's quite a few outlets that's still on Amber Heard's side and they are publishing things, so maybe that's... Oh, good, good. I mean, 
the King of Swords. So uh, they are, you know, th there are things that if you look at this girl, it's kind of angry. It's not just sad. It's kind of like, oh, damn. And I think uh, if I remember correctly, correctly about this card description is uh, about if you go uh, go out and you know you're just angry and sad and you have that energy, then everything is going to be angry and sad around you. So it's kind. Of, it could be that someone in the team or even Johnny. I don't know, but I don't kind of feel like that. I feel like it's it just. Okay, I can't, I can't not think about the that lawyer who cross-examined the psych expert <laughs> feeling, you know, angry and, and just, and I fucked this up and blah, 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 which just my interpretation. So uh, it could be something or someone else. But there, there are some, um, they are not exactly happy with how things turned out with last week. But there's the star, you know, getting recovering from that, uh, how whatever we wanted to do with the trial that week, moving into, okay, let's recover, let's be hopeful, things are looking up because because of so and so, it can, you know, and it's also heal, the, the card, the star is all about healing, which is, in this case, it hopefully will be helping to heal everyone included to be honest because if your darkest things are on display and people will know more about it you can actually f move on from them uh, in a way you know learn and learn about them uh, see them more objectively from the outside and maybe you know get some help in some sentence in some sense but you know just in how the, the trial looks like for them is um, they are hopeful again. You know, they think that, okay, what was done so far is maybe not the best, but, you know, we're moving away. And the King of Swords is all about strategy and, you know, seeing the big pictures, finding the places and puzzle pieces to put, to put together and moving forward in that. Which for a trial is a really good place to be because you want that. You want to see the big picture when you're moving pieces together. You want to know where you move from uh, certain things. Okay, let's see what Timber Heard sign is thinking. They were very happy last week. Oh, that's too much. Let's see, we have the Empress. Interesting. That's a very, again, it's a female figure as well. It's a very, you know, I am in my power, my feminine, especially power. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, um, a gender. It's just that this case for them is all about that, you know, need to movement as well. So I kind of maybe is connected to that. Feeling, feel, they're still feeling empowered. They still think that they are doing everything well. Like I said, Nine of Cups. I'm very confident and I'm very happy and everything is going my way, which is very interesting. They are they are much more confident in their way of seeing things than they are. Which is, you know, we're not in the courtroom. We don't know how the jury looks they can be very confident that they're gonna win the case and you know that's why they're there but the court of public opinion could be swayed so i don't know i mean if people just only read headlines and don't watch the actual trial then it's a very interesting place to be okay but we also have uh, the two of wands and the five of cups Interesting. So the happiness is not going to be short, uh, long, long lived, because we have the two of wands. Two of wands is all about making plans, <laughs> just like the king of swords. But while the king of swords sits on the throne and you know are able to see the whole picture, with the two of wands it's more about I'm going in one direction, but I'm kind of looking at other options because I'm not entirely sure that my option is the best option and I kind of want to do other things. So, and we have the five of cups with that. So there's a chance. It's not necessarily 
going to happen, but there's a chance for them to deviate from their original plan. That's how I feel, which, you know, kept them happy so far. And if they do that, they're gonna lose, they're gonna lose something. Uh, it's a choice, so this doesn't necessarily need to happen for them. But there's an opportunity, uh, not opportunity, you know, there's a danger in deviating from your tried and uh, true. Just because I, I'm assuming, you know, you're reacting to something, uh, you're seeing something outside of your bubble, so to speak, like in social media or something like that. And you're like, oh, OK, we need to fix that. We need to change that. We need to react to something that the other team said or whatever. And that would mean loss for them. So, you know, for them, they need to tr stay on the road they pa paved because for them, it seemed it's working, which is quite interesting. I think that just shows, you know, in a very basic level, how complicated every trial is. But let's pull some cards for, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm more than one. Uh, oh, we have that for how they think the whole thing is looking right now. You know, if they can, uh, I'm not saying if they can win because I don't think that that necessarily that 50 million is the one that Johnny's team wants to get out of this. They want transformation. They want, you know, they wanted to show his side of the story, which I think they managed. And with that card, you know, people don't like the dead. If you don't read tarot, that card is like scary, obviously. But if you do read tarot, you're like, whoa, yes, death, oh, I love it. Because the dead card symbolizes moving away from something that was really hard and, you know, was no longer serving you. It was a, um, a period in your life that you just... You just get stuck in a way, but there's some, you know, transformation is needed. So, you know, if you're in a bad situation and you and I pull the that card for you, that means that that bad situation is going to finally go out. It finally there's chance to move away from it, transforming something higher leveled and something better than before. So I think for Johnny, you know, that's how they see this whole thing right now, that they achieved that already, which I, I, I would agree right now. This is how we see it. This is how I see it as well. So I guess their um, expectation of where things are going is, is, is that, you know, transformation in a way, rehabilitation, which is true. I have a look at that. Okay too much the knight of pentacles for them is a slow moving energy <laughs> also you know knight of pentacles money so they kind of think that uh, whatever they are doing is slowly bringing them in money which is <laughs> for sure true for the lawyers <laughs> but it's interesting they they think that uh, which uh, you know i've heard lawyers uh, Arguing that the actual defamation defamation case will probably not won. Uh, I mean, there's a bigger chance now for Johnny to win than for Amber, but there could be, you know, the on technical, actually legal issues, she's going to win. And the Nine of Pentacles is something that reflects that, in my opinion, because, you know, the Pentacles is all about the money. And the Nine of Pentacles is, I'm surely going through this, I'm sure, surely, slowly but surely going, moving forward and I'm going to reap what I sow. And what I mean by that is, you know, I'm going to get that money. So they are still expecting to win. That's how I would read this. Which, you know, makes sense. You, they're still, it's their side of the, of the trial now. So I'm assuming they still think, and that's how you should feel, I think. In my, you know, you don't go into um, playing a game, for example, by losing, then obviously you're going to lose. So let's pull one last card for currently how the ending, the end of the trial will look like. Ooh, King of Cups, very interesting. Another king. And I don't want to be, you know, 
specific bed. Hood is Hood is like this car reminds me of Jolly, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about this, but yeah, this deck has that sort of a character. And oh, I, I pulled this one recently as a daily draw. So uh, right now it feels like, uh, you know, Johnny is going to win. It looks like, I mean, that's why I would read this card. But do let me know what do you think. I think this is very interesting. So yeah, we will see. I might get into, you know, because there's no trial next week but there's gonna be i'm assuming a lot of things happening social media wise so i might do a reading on you know their current social media status or whatever strategy or you know if you have any questions that you would like to see in this uh, connected to this trial um, uh, yeah just drop it down below and you know we will see it and i i i'm i'm kind of enjoying doing this so i'm probably going to do this for with other trials that i've watched so if you like this please do like subscribe comment down below that all help my channel share it with others and yeah drop questions in the description tell me about your um impressions of the trial i don't care which side you are on you know if you're an amber heard uh, supporter you can still comment down below this is not if you're respectful obviously i don't feel comfortable just you know i don't like the black and white option that one side is all like an angel right now which is absolute bullshit and the other side is the epitome of evil we are all they were both i think what's the most important thing to remember is they were both abused as children and this is why you don't do that to children so yeah please take care of children if <laughs> if anything that you know can be taken away from things like this but yeah it's just interesting so yeah see you in the next one bye